Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and Apple has upped the ante when it comes to the potential for creating your own aesthetic with iOS 14. Actually, a part of what makes this possible has been around for a little while now, but with the customization of iOS 14 widget, it just adds a bit more flexibility. So to create your own custom aesthetic like this one, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to either download a pack of pre-made app icons. I got a pack from Etsy as an example. I'll leave a link below for you so you can find those. They generally cost a few dollars or pounds to get hold of a pack with all the popular apps in, and then once they're downloaded, they come as a zip file, which you then unzip and send the images to your iPhone via AirDrop, or sync them with a cloud service, or send them via Carrier Pigeon, or whatever your favourite data delivery method is. I also downloaded Launch Center Pro, because there's a feature within that app, once you pay your $9.99 in-app purchase, that lets you create your own custom icons. So starting with those app icons, this is where the first little caveat comes in. Apple doesn't really technically let you use custom icons. Instead, what you need to do is create Siri shortcuts and add them to your home screen. They look like regular app icons, but really they're launching a shortcut that you've created using the Shortcuts app. So open shortcuts and add a new one by tapping the plus sign in the top corner. Tap add an action and now enter open app in the search bar on the top. What I would advise doing now is tapping the little eye symbol on the right and favoriting that function so you don't have to keep searching for it. And then tap choose and find the app that you want to launch. Once you've selected the app you need to tap the three dot menu in the top right corner. Now tap Add to home screen. Here you need to tap the little icon on the left and you'll see a pop-up menu where you can either take a photo, choose a photo or choose a file to use as an app icon. If you've saved icons they'll be in your photo album and you can choose it by tapping choose photo. Select the icon you want, change the scaling by zooming in if you need to and tap choose. Now tap on the text and rename it to whatever you want it to be. Now you've done this for one shortcut or app, you need to do it for all the other ones that you want to create them for. And this is where the time consuming element comes in. With this method you can literally use any photos as your app icons, so go nuts, do whatever you like. You can even have just a whole array of different cat photos on your home screen if you want to. Now to create your own icon using Launch Center Pro, once you've installed the app you need to tap the pencil in the corner of the home screen. Tap one of the big plus icons and then tap action in the pop-up menu. On the next screen choose icon and here you can customize the shape, the style of the color and then choose an icon background and a foreground color. Now search for the glyph which best represents the app you're wanting to create an icon for. You should find nearly all the popular apps in here, for instance I created them for Slack and Telegram. Once you've chosen it, you adjust the size and the style, and once you're happy, tap the share icon in the top corner, choose a transparent background, and then choose to save the image. Now when you go to create a shortcut using the method we've already shown you, that icon will be in your gallery as a regular photo. Now once you've done that, you want to create some custom widgets, and the most popular app for doing that at the moment is called Widgetsmith. It's been at the top of the app store for a number of weeks. Widgetsmith is pretty simple to use. Again, it contains in-app purchases to access some features, but you can use a few of them for free. To use Widgetsmith, open the app on the first screen, choose to add a small, medium or large widget. And now tap on that new widget that just appeared. Scroll until you find the function and the style that you want for that widget. Tap through the font, tint color, background color and border color to customize the styling and color scheme to suit your aesthetic. Save it and rename it to something you'll recognize. Now once you've created and renamed some custom widgets, you want to go back to your phone home screen. Long press on the screen and tap add. Now choose the size of the widget and once it's added, tap on it and it'll flip around and give you an option to choose which widget. Tap the option and choose the widget by the name you gave it. Now it'll update. Now with all those processes repeated however many times you need to, you'll eventually have the look on your home screen that you want. It just takes a little bit of time and effort. But once it's done, you have your look. Now as we said with shortcuts there is that little caveat here, so whenever you press on one of those app icons, instead of going straight to the app you do have that little 
intermission where you go through to the shortcuts app which then takes you to the app because again you are launching a Siri shortcut action and not the app itself. So it takes a little while and actually it can be a little bit frustrating. So you have to decide whether it's worth it if you want your look that badly. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on all social media channels, you can find me on there or use the comments down below. If you did like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to see more and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.